Good morning, Craig here. Uh, February 10, uh, I finished Act 3.2. Yeah, 3.2 this morning. Uh, and it's all, uh, <laughs> I feel like I say the same thing each morning, it's all going well. Um, it just, I think, but you know, the, the thing that really has been a nice addition to what how I've been thinking a bit lately has been this more of the aesthetic of Thomas Pynchon coming into my thinking, allowing things to be a little more surreal than I maybe originally had been planning and having the confidence to see how uh, that would play out in really nice ways. Um, not just weird for the sake of weird, but just that little bit of, is this real, is this not real, um, you know, tension that I love. So that's been something that when I had a couple of uh, opportunities for it in Act 3.2 uh, that I've just planned out. Uh, I, I thought there's a lovely, a lovely way to take this in a more pension direction, and it also will heighten the level of understanding here to to get at the message that I'm trying to convey in a way that wouldn't have been as accessible if it hadn't had this ex extra little surreal notch to it. So. Uh, that was really cool. Um, I feel very free and very excited about the potentials of sort of peppering more of that aesthetic um, throughout the uh, texts as I go. Um, and I think that was the main thing. I added in a flashback scene that was not previously part of the phase two planning, but that I, I think I had in mind and needed to be particularly part of this scene. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it was good. Good morning, I was up um, for a nice walk uh, with my mum this morning, uh, which we had a lovely walk through Newcastle and uh, I've just been sitting out the back here, listening to a helicopter just go over by then, um, listening to some good tunes and doing some good writing and planning. So uh, lovely morning and I will uh, look forward. Uh, you know what, before I wrap, wrap up, I think I was just thinking then, um, I was thinking these are the sorts of mornings that I can see will be just excellent for prose writing once it gets to that stage next month. Um, I mean, I will be doing it every day, and even though the mornings on a work day um, are not necessarily as conducive in terms of not having this just languid, flowing weekend time that has no boundaries of, upon it, um, but setting those boundaries in place is, is also a good thing. If I just had this type of day every day, that I wouldn't be as committed to being as consistent each day with my writing. I'd feel like I had enough time to, um, you know, to just go about it at, at, at my own leisure, which would take away the, the urgency of thinking there's, you need to be very consistent with the way that this is approached. So I'm really happy uh, with that. And the mornings before work will be totally fine. And hopefully I'll get my 500 words um, done in that period of time. And I'll just wake up early if I need to. Um, but these these weekends, regardless, of just have I don't know, just have a special feel to them. Now I'm thinking, now that I've said that, the plan that I had mapped out, um, which is excellent. Now that I think about it, is that I'm not going to be writing prose seven days a week. The plan was Sunday morning, sit down and look at what I've planned for phase three. Sorry, phase four. Um, in terms of the scenes and the micro scenes all mapped out, look at that and then write an, an action plan for the week where I'm reviewing that based on what I've sort of written the previous week, thinking is this still where things are up to, is this where things are, are going are still on track for the plot and where the, the particular trajectories are up to, are, are we happy, and then doing a bit more micro planning of some of those scenes that I'm going to be writing then across the week. Because the idea is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday to write a scene a day, um, which is about 665 words uh, each, each day, which is totally achievable. First draft, um, that's a, a you know really, really good pace to, to stick to. And it will happen because of the Sunday morning action plan for the week to come. And that action plan is based on all the um, thin slicing and planning of scenes that I'm doing now as part of this phase four outline planning. Um, 
so that's uh, that's really good and then the Saturday at the end of the week is for reviewing revising editing the prose thinking is how's this all come together wrapping up that particular um, uh, act and then progressing on uh, with the next day on the Sunday to do the action plan for the act for the coming week um, so that's that's excellent I, I was really happy that I established the idea for that plan back in phase two um, and uh, so that's just gonna um, I think that's much better than planning to write prose every day and then just sort of getting lost in this sea of daily um, prose writing I think you need to cap it you need to have the top and tail of the week to plan and then reflect and then everything that takes place within that can be more structured more focused and then you can set boundaries on the week and then go forward from from there so uh, project planning <laughs> project planning the novel that's where we're up to um, I'll leave it there hope you have a good day and I will be back tomorrow Sunday morning see you then